welcome to our last vlog. I surprised y'all, I surprised myself, but we're gonna do a going away vlog. Just some last minute things that I did. Um, and when I say last minute, I don't mean because they're like last minute because they don't matter. Last minute things are like literally the last things. This morning I went ahead and did my daughter's hair. Last night the family and I went out for my favorite, which is wigs. Um, just like for a family sit down, a meal, it was a good time. And yeah, so here we are today on my self care day that I have been waiting for, waiting for, okay? So it's 9.15 a.m. And I am headed now to go sit in the sauna for 30 minutes. Now my goal is to do a full 30 minutes, but my appointment is at 10.45 and I wanna get back home, take myself a nice relaxing bath, and then like scrub my feet a little bit, you know, just get myself into a full mood mode of relaxing. And then I'm gonna head off to my massage, okay? In this video, you guys are going to also get to see me check into the hotel and um, hopefully take off, okay? I don't know, I probably won't be able to stick around to answer questions for this video. We do have a live tonight, so you guys will probably see this video after our live, so that's exciting. But I do wanna show you guys kind of my last days at home. I need to talk to you guys. I think it was Thursday, I had to go back to the recruiter's office to sign my last papers. And I know I kept saying it's my last papers, my last papers, but whatever comes up, I have to go read and sign. Okay, that's just a part of the process that sometimes other things pop up. So I had to go up there and sign it. I also had to go in and get weighed and taped again. So I wasn't worried about it because you guys know I have been on, I've been on my jolly hustle. I did not, the last time I left MEPS for my physical, I did not let my nutrition and my fitness and stuff go by the wayside. So I'm very, I'm actually really excited that I'm not worried about that at all. Um, and these things I'm just doing, just kind of like keeping my body in the swing of having to work out so frequently. So it does look like it's gonna rain today. Like I said, I'm gonna do all that self care. We're gonna order in some food at the end of the day and have a little meal, a little family meal all together. I'm relaxing today, okay? Not doing very much of anything. So let me stop rambling. And you guys sit back and enjoy this video. So we're done with our sauna session. I was able to do 26 minutes and 23 seconds. It's 9.55, so that's like the perfect amount of time. It's Saturday morning, so there's not too many people in there. And I really wanted to do 30 minutes, but really anything over 15 is good too. And I'm probably gonna go back at the end of the day before they close because they don't open at all tomorrow. I'm not gonna do any like um, cardio workout today. So I think that I'm just gonna do another sauna session if I want to. If not, I'm just gonna leave it alone. Tomorrow, I have my last like, we'll, we'll see tomorrow tomorrow, right? So I did wanna put this in here because I made that video about how I look for massage therapists. Um, yeah, I made the video about how I look for massage therapists. Well, the massage therapist that I'm gonna see, she literally just sent me a message describing to me again the location that I'm looking for, letting me know to let her know once I get there and she'll come and get me at the door because it's locked for safety on the weekend. So, how, like, I love that. I just really love that. This is about to be a great massage, baby, okay? It's gonna be a great massage. In my mind, in my, both my mind and body are about to enjoy this massage and I'm really excited about it. So, let me hurry, get home, um, take myself a little mini soak or whatever and then I'm gonna see y'all later. Baby. It is 12.06 and that was spiked. Baby, just my time, just my speed, okay? Just my speed. Let me put my stuff back on. Oh my God, that was so bad. So no, there was absolutely no talking that we did. Um, I didn't fall asleep. I'm convinced. Um, hold on. I didn't want you guys to see the thing, but yeah, I'm convinced that yeah, it's just not easy to put to sleep. But I'm very relaxed, I will say that. I just didn't fall asleep. Um, yeah, I got, so first let me say that I am so grateful to her because my appointment thing, so why I thought it said 1045 and it said a whole 10 o'clock. The cupping for some reason said 12 o'clock. So I sent her the screenshot and she was very, like she was like, well hurry and come in so we can get you your full time. 
because I do have a few more minutes left, you know, in between you and my next appointment. So, yeah, I got my full time. I assume, yeah, I feel like it was a full time. If it wasn't, I feel good. So that's all that matters. And that was a good massage. Okay, it was worth every penny. Okay, worth every penny. It was not worth it to go find like a cheap massage. That was a good massage. It was. I really just wanted my little back to be worked on and since she did blanket cupping on my little back it was i love it. love i love it eh? so i'm about to touch base with my husband let him know i'm done with my massage and see what he wants to get to eat see what we're gonna order to eat because he said he got the kids mcdonald he got the churn mcdonald's so i ain't eating no mcdonald's i want something something real okay so i'm gonna talk to y'all later Good morning. It's 8 o'clock a.m. And I know, looking real the same as yesterday, but I took these clothes off and I'm putting them back on this morning, okay? So it's 8 o'clock and I'm headed to the park to take myself my final walk at home. Um, it looks like it's going to rain out here. I don't know why. Every single time this week I've been out here to do my walk, it looks like it's going to rain. But it's not like I'm going to melt in the rain, so it's not a big deal. I would like to not be outside in the rain, but whatever. I think it's just, and the time also changed today. My God. That, but let me tell you. So remember I told you guys I was having not a hard time. I just was able to get up to like wake up, waking up comfortably at 4.30, but I couldn't quite get to um, 4 o'clock. Well, since we've lost time, it almost it feels like in my body that we have to wake up at five o'clock. So it's perfect, okay? I don't know why this thing is keeping me. Yeah, it's perfect. So because the time changed, oh my god, waking up is going to be a breeze, which is very exciting for me because I'm a timely person. I don't like to I don't like to not be able to you know I want to be on time, and they gonna have us up early now. Don't play. You know it, and I know it. They gonna have us up early. So right now what I'm about to do, like I said, is just go take a walk. Um, I have, don't really have any plans for it. I know if I run, I get to leave sooner. That's always nice, but I don't know. I don't know how it's gonna go. I'll let you guys know it's really not a big deal. The biggest deal is that I get out and then continue to move because probably for the next, let's see, what's today? Today's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. Probably not gonna be that much moving until you know until I actually go to base train. I don't know if I explained that to you guys, but so today I'm going to check into the hotel and then for the rest of the day I'm really gonna be doing nothing. There is a gym at the hotel, but I'm really gonna be doing nothing for the rest of the day. Just yeah, just being at the hotel. And then tomorrow morning they wake up at they wake us up at three and they separate us into three lines. Um, women, men, and then shippers. So the shippers line, of course, because we're shipping out, we get to do everything first. We go in, we're gonna do a mini physical, and some other things, get our plane ticket, all that kind of stuff. And then the shuttle bus is gonna take, I don't know if I explained this to you guys already, a shuttle bus is gonna take us to the airport. So there's gonna be a lot of sitting, a lot of waiting, once you get to the airport, of course, depending on the flight and all that kind of stuff. From the airport, we go to what they call reception. So it's not quite basic training yet. It's just another process of the in, like another part of the intake process. Okay, so more waiting. I can only imagine that it's going to feel very much like MEPS in that it's like a lot of waiting, a lot of like you know, just a lot of waiting. Girl, hurry up and wait. Just a lot of slow moving waiting. And then once everyone who is supposed to be in our group. Um, in our platoon, however you say it. Once everyone comes, then we go off to basic training with all of those people, okay? So my basic training date is technically set for the 14th. I don't know how long it's gonna take for us to get there, but it's gonna be between the 7th and the 14th. So it could be three days, could be one day, could be two days, could be a week, okay? So we're gonna be like in like a barracks and all that kind of stuff while we at reception. I think I might still have my phone, but I don't know. I know you can't really be using your phone. Even though you got it, you better not have it out like that, okay? Um, so yeah, basic training doesn't start. You know, I won't be moving, moving for a while, but there is gonna be a lot of walking. I can assume a lot of standing, a lot of waiting, because that's just how it goes. 
So I said all that to say, I want to get purposeful, intentional movement in for the last time today. Until, and then in, I don't know when the next time it will happen. So I, I'm going to work out at the hotel tonight too, just because I want a good night's rest. Because also, if I've, I've heard stories, I've heard rumors that you only sleep like three, like three hours before they wake you up to do like your next process and things like that. So I definitely, I've been getting some sleep. I got a lot of sleep last night, got a lot of sleep the night before that. I feel very well rested and relaxed. I got my massage and all that kind of stuff. I feel good. I'm ready for, I'm ready for the adventure. I'm ready for the new horizon. Okay? So, stop rambling things again. And I will show you guys what I'm going to do at home when I get home. Hey girl, hey. So we did a total of, I don't know if you can see that, 52 minutes. So pretty long walk. I was gonna stay out there and try to do a little bit more, but now it's 9.05 and they're like doing like, um, every Sunday they do soccer, they do like soccer things. Like they have soccer games on all the fields. And then if you walk, remember that time I walked like that long road by myself? And the bikers are usually there. But if you come early enough in the morning, you won't have too much traffic. But people be taking their dogs for their Sunday walk. And I don't really do dogs like that. Okay, I don't do big dogs like that. One of the dogs, like, he was about to jump over the fence. And I don't do jumping over fence and dogs. Okay, no, won't do that. So, I'm finished that walk for the day. I'm gonna go home, do some sit-ups and push-ups. I'll see you guys in a second once I get to the house. ready to head out you know emotions all ready to head out why well, my recruiter just called me and said that MEPS is actually closed tomorrow because the Astros won so I don't leave until tomorrow which kind of works out better because um like my my kids and stuff are out of school but girl the way they have my the way they have me and right. my back, it ain't right it ain't right it ain't right so Girl, oh my God, I gotta call my husband because he went to get my salad for me to bring to the hotel. Girl, that's crazy. All right, so I'm back in like some regular clothes. I have the rest of my water now. I'm gonna continue to drink that. And then I did not mention that. You guys know I got a massage. Let's see if you can see it. Y'all know I got a massage. Well, if you see my back, I have like circles from the cupping on my back. So it's really good that I get another day just for that to go away, if it's gonna go away. But you can't see them all, but they're like, hold on, let's see. They're like all down. It's all down on that side. So it's good for the cupping, you know, for the relief and all. But I don't know how they're gonna feel about that. So it's good. It's all good. I'm about to lay down, finish, ooh, girl, finish watching TV and just chilling out. a.m. Today is Monday. <clears throat> and as you guys know from yesterday, I'm checking in today now. So, because I have another day, I know, like, you tired of seeing my face, you tired of hearing me say, girl, it's today, girl, it's tomorrow. Look, this is how it goes, okay? So, this morning, since I do have more time, I'm actually going to go work out at the gym. Um, Kennedy went with daddy this morning, so, and her daddy. Now, my daddy don't play. 
um she went with her dad this morning to work they have he has like an off day but he has conferences and since i was going to be gone and she was going to go anyway she just went with her dad so the good thing is i get to drop my son off and he was going to catch the bus well he doesn't normally ride the bus but he was going to catch the bus and today it doesn't matter so what i'm going to do is i'm about to head to the gym go work out go sit in the sauna <clears throat> come back home do some little fun little petty stuff last minute how keep housekeeping respond to you guys' messages make sure i send out all the correspondings and things like that and then we'll talk a little later about some more stuff that i have to do well that i can do because obviously i don't have to do it because i ain't supposed to be here okay so some more little things that i can do and then i'm gonna when it's time for me to drop my son i'm gonna go back and do a walk not really anything serious just a walk like i did yesterday all right so uh, for breakfast this morning i had coffee i had coffee with heavy cream and that's just because i'm not really hungry but whatever um haven't really been drinking coffee like that so you know you still don't so i had that this morning i haven't had anything else and then i also have one you can see i have one this little wrap and I did sleep in one just cause I could. And yeah, so I had, you know, just making sure, girl, you don't want no issue. You know what, let's check my back and see if my back is clear. Obviously it's falling down in the back. So I still see one right there. I don't know about, no, I still see, you can't see it, let's see. yeah it looks like they're still kind of there so it, it is less noticeable than yesterday so hopefully on tuesday when i check into maps it'll be even better so let me go do my little song maybe the song will help it i'll see you guys later pro tip when using a public restroom always take the first toilet paper off because people touch it like with their pd hands and then use like the second all right so i am back at home from dropping off my son I have the salad and then tuna and some chips, which is actually what I'm supposed to bring to the hotel. But I have also this, which I'm going to bring with me. It's two rice cakes and some almonds. This, oh, and my vitamins, which I need to take from over there. That's usually the snack that I have just because it's light on the stomach, still filling. It's, not, it's like my favorite snack. It doesn't upset my stomach at all. I'm just going to go ahead and eat this so I can do my second workout uh, later on. Huh. And because I still have time, I have the weight loss video that I'm going to do today. So I'm about to finish eating this, film that video real quick, edit it, post it, um, chill out. I also have this. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to show you what I'm done. see how you see me lord 
And I am ready to be who you have made me and ready to be who you have made me and I'm ready to be who you have made me even though I don't know where this all right so it is 11 51 and I am so I made some notes right here for my husband just um like how to check emails and things like that just looking for maybe like information somebody's asked for information just letting them know how to check emails passwords and all that kind of good stuff i left that here and then i also have my nail polish remover that i'm going to actually leave in the bathroom because i need to remove this nail polish when i get back um i added some glass cleaner to my bag because i finally found my like spray glass cleaner um instead of having a little just a little wipe the little thing where you just shine it up I got that and then I added the glass cleaner as well I am about to go do my walk I have wrapped this belly um for one more one one more time I wrapped myself up I can show you where I am on my water not very far because I was making a video um I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back home to do just last minute self-care so I'm gonna do like um you know, like a um, skincare routine. You know, just clean my skin up for the last time. So I'm gonna go walk, sauna, come home, take a shower, do my skin, or well, do my skincare, take a shower, get dressed, sit, and chill. And then I'm gonna pick up my son early at three o'clock. I believe is the latest I can pick him up. The earliest. No, I think you can pick him up the latest at three o'clock before they do car. And then my husband gets home. And then we're gonna head to the hotel, all right? So I have a little, very little bit of time, very little bit of time for it's time to go. My recruiter texted me, asked me to send him a picture of myself. Um, girl, I took an old picture, cause I'm looking like, I'm looking like boot camp at this point. Um, I sent a picture that I already had in my phone to post in the office, like post on the board because I'm shipping out. So that's exciting. Um, yeah, girl, it's really, this is really happening. This is really happening. This is really happening. Um, so, let me go. I'm gonna see you guys when I get there or back, whichever one. Today, I'm glad I got this extra day because it feels really good to be, um, to have a quiet day at home. I love my family, absolutely. I love my children, love my husband, but having a quiet day and leaving out on the quiet note is much different than everybody being at home in their relaxed state and leaving. It's a totally different feel. I'm grateful for both. I'm grateful to have a family to have to say goodbye to, um, but I'm really excited for this change, not just for myself, not just for, you know, there's, there's people assigned to your life and there's certain things that you have to do that you have to go through to be able to understand how to better um, cultivate relationships with those people. And I don't want, like, I can't leave that out, all right? You don't, you think that me being a teen mom didn't cultivate the ability to be able to speak to you as a woman and that would be false. You think that, you know, me going through an adoption process didn't cultivate the ability to be able to speak to you as a woman and that would be a lie that there are certain things that you move through in life that cultivate your ability to be able to be in relationships with certain it's literally a kingdom mission like you don't we don't know where we going we don't know where we're going but i like to think i'm going in the right direction i like to think that i've garnered the right relationships with the right people wherever I'm going, wherever it's going to lead me, okay? But I'm so hopeful, and I know for certain, wherever it's going to lead me is going to be a place where greatness resides, okay? And I know you're going to be right here with me. You'll be right here with me because you're going to be in greatness too. Like God, God doesn't want you to just be a flame so you can walk around talking about I'm hot. He wants you to be a flame. He wants to set you ablaze. So when people even walk past you, that they're set ablaze. When they walk past you, hearing the words that you speak, you speak, they're set ablaze. That's the goal. The goal is to set people ablaze like God has set me ablaze, baby. Okay? All right. So let's move on to the next phase of the day. What are we doing? We're going to the sauna at this point. Girl, let me drink some water. 
Let me drink a little water. We're going to the sauna. Um, like I said, it's 110 now. I think I'm gonna just do 20 minutes. Like, girl, you're doing a lot. 20 minutes, and I'm gonna head home so I can do my self care before it's time to go. I'm gonna bring them because I know at MEPS normally you can't wear like tights or tight pants. Um, because I'm shipping, I think the dress code might be a little different, but I'm gonna wear these and bring these with me because these are more comfortable, honestly. But I didn't get like the extremely tight ones. And then I also have my um, do-rag on my head just to lay down my hair while I'm in the car and I'm gonna take it off, put it in my bag, when I get in my hotel room, put it back on. So that's it. I'm just gonna pick up my facial supplies it's 2:21, so my husband should be home shortly, and we're gonna head out. Unless you wanna wait. talking to the girl who's in the back of me and she might be my roommate but I'm not sure
my permission for you to hang out there. Make sure you stay with your group.